You know, one of my favorite Christmas songs is What Child Is This? And it was a hymn written by uh, a man named William Chatton Dix about over 150 years ago. But the song begins by asking an important question. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthem sweet while shepherds watch are keeping? See, it's a question that many people ask, perhaps not in this particular way, but they're, they're asking the question, who is God? It's the same question. What child is this that the angels would announce and celebrate his birth? What child is this that the wise men would come from the east and bring gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh? What child is this that one day he would walk on water and give sight to the blind? What child is this that claimed to be God and lived among us and died on the cross for our sins? Now, until we answer that question for ourselves, what child is this or who is God? We will never be able to make sense of our own life or why we're here. You know, Isaiah 9, 6 says, For a child will be born to us. A son will be given to us. And the government will rest on his shoulders. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. You know, this is an amazing prophecy that gives us perspective when we ask that question, what child is this? He is, he is a God who gives us wisdom and strength. He is a God that gives us compassion and rest for our souls. And this scripture affirms for us that Jesus is the Lord and his kingdom will last forever. This child is the Christ, our King. Now this year when you see a nativity scene, remember what child it is that you're seeking. 